Neighbors say they couldn't believe what they were seeing as investigators carried guns and bags of evidence out of this Weymouth home on Tuesday. They came in and it was just gun after gun, part after part. According to court documents, they found several guns, including an AR-15 style assault rifle with a flare launcher attached to it, along with a number of parts used to make assault rifles and handguns and a number of various rounds of ammunition in the basement. It also shows there were two children living in the home. Just knowing that all that stuff was there is kind of scary. This is a mugshot of Robert Kurtzer when he was arrested in 2013 by Quincy police officers. Court documents show Kurtzer was a passenger in a truck when it was stopped for a traffic violation on Tuesday. When the trooper noticed he didn't have his seatbelt on, he asked for his license, and that's when the trooper says he saw a large knife attached to his hip. When the trooper asked if there were any weapons in the truck, the suspect said, quote, lots of them. During a pat-down, investigators say they found several 22 caliber long rifle ammunition along with other ammunition, but they say he didn't have a firearms identification card. After he was arrested, investigators searched his home and neighbors say they were there for hours. According to court records, the FBI had been conducting an investigation on the suspect's activities within the past two months. I think maybe it was just a hobby for him. He definitely wouldn't have hurt anyone. And investigators say they later learned the suspect had been convicted for an armed robbery charge back in 2001. He was charged for being a felon in possession of ammunition and firearms. We're live in Weymouth tonight. Diane Cho, WCVB, New Center 5.